Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus content. We are going to jump in to a Maggie run and I think I've, there's a specific reason I want to do a Maggie run. Not just because we just unlocked her but also because um, Eve's... Eve is unlocked by not picking up hearts for two levels. Maggie starts with the yum heart. So not picking up hearts I would think should be relatively easy with Maggie. Um, let's avoid soul hearts. Let's maybe we can try maybe for the first two levels. Might even be able to make it happen just for the first two levels. Let's rock and roll. Five wins in a row. Not too uh, not too much of a claim to fame just because it's only two. Uh, it lives or maybe shoal, but still runs have been going well. VQF1 YSZB is your seed. It is regular basement, so we will go into the curse room here. Luck up. Friends till the end. Nice. So I assume that doesn't count as picking up a heart using the yum heart. I'll be sort of miffed if it does count because technically I'm not picking up a consumable. I think, you know, they word things uh, carefully in this game. So I'm, I'm going to guess that it does not count against us for that, uh, that Chivo. Ooh, strange attractor. Don't really feel like doing that. Remember, don't pick up any hearts. Drowsy is a nice pill to have in the rotation. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't think you take a strange attractor, do you? Or do you? What do you think? Well, see, this is a pickle because I wonder if I'll pick that up automatically when I come in. Let's see, like when I open this, am I gonna? Oh, ho, ho, baby! You know what? We'll start next floor. <laughs> That's just too good of a haul. I can't leave all those soul hearts behind. It's just too good. We'll start next floor. I'll start exercising tomorrow. Um, I really do need to start exercising again. That's not even that's not playing a character at all. When is the best time to take Stranger Tractor? Is it, it's probably when you have like a really good run. But the second best time might be when you have nothing to lose, aka when you just started a run. Let's see what we get from this boss and we can go from there. I'll probably take it. We'll have some we'll do we'll have some shenanigans. Although it does it muddles my idea of not taking any hearts cuz taking strange attractor means probably taking damage which means probably wanting to take hearts. But I think I'm going to do it anyway. Wire coat hanger. We did just unlock that. Let's do it. Let's take the strange. Embrace the strange. Right, we got some magnetic tears now. So, if you don't know what Strange Attractor is, it uh, magnetizes the enemies. They get drawn towards my tears, which makes for some wonky stuff happening. Um, they will be pulled with my tears. Now, this is the worst room on which to demonstrate it because this it doesn't work on these enemies because they're like anchored to the ground. But I promise you, you will get to see the effect soon. It also does pull consumables, as you can see. So it'll pull this uh, this key over here, which can be like you can kind of game that in some cases. But you see how the enemies are behaving a little just erratically. It makes dodging more difficult, makes attacking more difficult. Really, just makes life more difficult. But you know, I was thinking to myself recently, as a brand new dad with a job that doesn't pay enough working full-time I was thinking you know life's too stinking easy let's crank it up a notch all right here we go okay mm, don't actually remember what I can never remember what Bible track does. Does it have something to do with eternal hearts? Or does it have something to do with angel deals? It says faith up. I think it has something to do with eternal hearts, but I'm not sure. Alright, remember, don't pick up any hearts. I don't think I picked up any hearts on this floor. 
but I actually can't recall. I don't think I have. Mm, nah. Although, if the Bible tract has to do with Eternal Hearts, I really shouldn't take it, because I shouldn't <laughs> tempt myself into picking up Eternal Hearts. Uh, if, we, if we could get a bomb, that would be nice here. Definitely would be nice. There's a tinted rock and everything. So a bomb here gives us a key, a pill, and a tinted rock. I'm game, dude. Hook me up with a single explosivo. Mm. I'll play you. I am not frightened in the least. Right. Somewhat easy boss fight. We want to maybe not shoot whenever he's charging. For sure, I think. Yeah, like right now. Oh, well, you know, he's going to hit me anyway. What? Get out of here. No, no, no. I'm not going down to freaking dangle, dude. It's not going to happen. Whoa! The dip was scooting. Doing the old loot scooting boogie. Um, we will take... The goat head. Death's list has appeared in the basement. Lucky me. Death's list is fine. Death's list a lot of times is inconsequential on runs, but sometimes it's a little fun. If you've got a good run with uh, good targeting, sometimes you can uh, you can get yourself a little bit extra, a little something something extra by using death's list. Sometimes it's utterly meaningless. Uh, second luck up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If I was gonna be like playing absolutely nothing with Isaac or if I was trying to be like get a lot better at Isaac one of the things I might do is like print out little guide things and I think one of them that would help me would be uh, knowing what stats are affected by luck I can never remember what items like the the chance of what tiers is affected by luck can't ever keep it straight all right so I don't think we took any hearts last floor we haven't taken any hearts this floor. We've just used Yum Heart. Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> uh, so if we don't pick up any hearts, hopefully that means we're gonna unlock Eve. I really should have solved that room first before endeavoring to get the Tinted Rock, but you know, can't be ours to take my time. Pinky Eye, we're gonna trade for Pinky Eye. I like I like the pies and tears. Mmm, pies and tears. No, don't pick up the hearts. Stranger tractor, don't bone me, alright? I do not wish to be boned. Oh god. How come the hosts get pulled? That seems like bullshit to me. They seem like they should be anchored as well. Those are bombs. Those are safe. I do need a key here, however. Oh! Okay. Oh, found a key. Let's head back to... I think we go to the item room rather than the shop. Nope. Don't want that. Can take this. Doesn't drop hearts. It just gives us uh, HP directly, I believe. Oh no, that's just damage up. Uh, that's Blood of the Martyr. Stigmata is the HP up. Always confuse those two. Always conflate them in my head. Uh, that's going to be our regular secret room, I think. Myrtle Mmm. I don't want to go to the shop just yet. 
Ooh, a hermit card. Interesting. Let's go to the shop now. The hermit. Hmm. I'm not actually gonna take hive mind. Not gonna take that either. Uh You know, that's like a, a big old compromise, but I think I'm just going to say we'll take five bombs and, and roll on. All right, hoping for an easy boss that we can get through with uh, Strange Attractor here without too much trouble. I would never normally be worried on a run like this, but uh, the Strange Attractor X Factor has got me thrown off a bit. Now, thankfully... Peep, it appears, is not actually, for some reason, affected too much by Strange Attractor. Lucky me, honestly. Oh, he, he boomed me. The son of a bitch boomed me. We still did get a deal with the devil, which is just happens to be garbage. Now, come on. Show me I unlocked Eve. Don't give me this. Yeah, don't give me this picked up hearts bullshit. I didn't pick up any hearts. All right, now we can pick up hearts. And now we can focus on just having a nice little Maggie win. So I think that's, like, all the characters we can unlock for now. We still need to unlock Blue Baby, but that's going to come... I believe that comes when we get the It Lives kills. The 11 or so that we need. To unlock the path as well. And then, of course, we need to unlock uh, the lost and the keeper. Which we will make happen. The lost uh, might be what we focus on, like, generally speaking, next. We'll see. We'll see. Mm, you know, I'll take a liberty cap. I'm okay with a cap. It immediately paid off with showing us the uh, the path here. Okay, I just got greedy. I should have just stopped shooting, but I didn't want to. I felt like I could handle it. Narrator, he could not handle it. Mm. Alright, so the item room is many moons away. But I still think it's worth making the trek. Let's pack our saddlebags. We ride. For gold. Okay. No thanks. It's okay. We've got... Oh, I was like surprised we got a devil deal earlier. I have a goat head. You silly, silly man. <laughs> That's a mistake I do very, very often. Easier to do with Maggie. Because, uh, especially with these sprites. Like, Maggie's hair often precludes the goat head, I think. But I am making excuses, of course. Yeah, we'll take this and then we'll throw whatever the donation machine will take. It doesn't want to take a lot of money recently. A blue map has appeared. Nice. I want to get up to those like next store levels big time. Because it's not fun just having those two <laughs> slots in the store. In the shop, as it were. I mean, we'll take a bomb bag. We take everything except Tiny Planet, apparently. <laughs> I did not want to take that. And we'll just bounce. Bomb bag was not worth the trip, but, you know, had had to be sure. Who we got? Husk, not a problem. With the literal definition of not a problem, and... I will take the ability to fly. I will not, honestly. Ah, you know what? No, we got the like room for the HP, and we're lacking in HP. Let's let's take Dark Bum. I think Dark Bum kind of sucks, uh, but he doesn't suck this bad. All right. So he needs another full heart to pay out. Lego. Is there a chance we could make boss rush? Uh, there's a chance. We got seven minutes, two floors. Could happen. 
and try to make it happen here. Give ourselves a goal to strive towards. That's not the way you want to go. We do not have... That was not... That was Lord of the Pit, not Spirit of the Night. So, so we do not have uh, Spectral Tears, unfortunately. And we got an I'm Drowsy. Let's go into the big room then. Pop it. Should keep us more safe. Oof. If you're trying for boss rush, this is not the way you want it to start. Gotta put the pedal to the metal if we want to be able to get there. Oh, that's a lot of keys. We we're a little bit lacking in those, so I do appreciate it. I don't think we want to do that if we're if we're endeavoring to maybe have a crack at the old boss rush. Although we we definitely like Boss Rush Strange Attractor does not thrill me. <laughs> Unless we end up getting like a lot stronger between here and there. Definitely gives me pause. And not the meow meow kind. care about a bomb right now to be honest all right i mean I, i'm starting to think maybe boss rush is not in the cards for us because we're just weak and finding every wrong path i won't rule it out completely i mean i'll keep trying to go fast here but ah oh, i had a good pause there but then a bad follow-up dodge and i threw good damage after bad Stranger Tractor, please. Stranger Tractor, please! Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Don't have anything for me? Greed, you son of a bitch. Get out. Bomb some skulls. Tower car. That's not what I want at all. Where's all my HP? Oh my god. Not a black heart to be found in the whole house. All right, you had to, you had to do it to me, game, huh? Well, I kind of hate everything about this, but. Can one of you die? Please. Okay, that works out. We cheesed it, but I'm proud of it, to be honest. Super fine with that. You know, we'll take both because we can. And maybe now we'll try to do Boss Rush, Stranger Track Your Knife. I think we could make it happen. I would like to get a little bit more HP before we get there, but um, might not be able to make that happen. You know what? I'm not letting you get that other heart. We gotta go, dude. There's no time. I'm gonna say there's no time for that. I'm not gonna say... The meme related to having time for that. Because that is an old-ass meme. That people... Like, you know how some memes, like, refuse to die? That's definitely one. Like, you go to somebody and you say, like, I don't have time for that. A lot of times somebody's going to be like, ain't nobody got time for that. And you're like, ah. It's just, that's just too old, dude. The, the time for the, the cultural zeitgeist has passed. I'm sorry. You missed it. I'm still going to try boss rush. Even though we're playing bad here, we may very well die in boss rush. Because it is late in the evening, and my brain, no brain. But we're going to try. God damn it. 
No, don't do that. Yes, do that instead. Nice, Dark Bum. You're the ticket, dude. I need you to come through on Boss Rush if we're gonna have success. Need you to make it happen. Pretend I'm the captain, and we're gonna make it happen. If we can actually find the boss, too, it would be the thing. Dime related things. Paralysis. No, no, no. I don't have time to be paralyzed. Ain't nobody got time to be paralyzed. I'm gonna touch Mr. Boom because I don't know if we've touched it. I'm gonna move on. Okay, we're gonna make it. Ah! No, no, no. Hearts, please? Hearts for my boy? Run. Oh, hearts for my boy. Go, my son, go. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's go. Saved by the second secret room. Who would have thought? Take this. Come in here. I don't really want you. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. The HP. What a world. Take the homing, I think. Yeah, take this. Because homing knife does work. And it's going to do a wonder for us. We're actually going to, like, absolutely annihilate this boss rush, I think. <laughs> After thinking that I might die. It's actually going to be like a hosing of epic proportions. And honestly, I was sandbagging a little bit. We might have just hosed it even without, like, I don't know how many times we'll get hit here. Like, we might have hosed it without uh, all that HP. But it is super nice to have and makes me play more relaxed. So it does have a tangible effect on how I play. Not that, like, you know, tightening up. Oh, I'm about to die. It goes one of two ways. You know, sometimes when I'm about to die, I become a video gaming god. And sometimes, you know, become I become a child who button mashes frantically. Spinning, spinning the Tetris block <laughs> with reckless abandon trying to find a place to slot it in. I've been playing a lot of Tetris 99 lately. Tetris 99 is a great game. Um, I previously thought I was good at Tetris. I mean, I'm, I do all right. I've got like 15 wins in Tetris 99, I think. Um, but Tetris 99 did that thing for me where like, it's like the multiplayer gaming effect where before there was like real online multiplayer gaming, right? You used to just play online game, not online games. You used to play multiplayer games locally, like split screen with your friends. And everybody thought they were gods because you'd be like the best person in your like 5, 10, maybe even like 25 or 50 person friend group. All right, that's just like laziness. I can shoot the knife diagonally, but I'm choosing not to. Uh, but then online gaming comes around and all of a sudden your friend group expands to thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. And you go, oh shit, I suck at this game. <laughs> I'm not even close to, to, to top rank. And the people that are top rank, like they literally play this game like it's their full time job. And that's what it comes down to. And that's, it's hard cause like I think um, I'm someone who, who grew attached to that pride of being good at video games. And it, it became, uh, it was hard for me to let that go. I think like kids growing up in the multiplayer gaming era kind of learn better how to let that go. Like, I always wanted to be the best, and I was the best with my friends, and then I wasn't the best online, and I still just had that real strong desire to be the best. Whereas if you grow up cutting your teeth on, you know, games that have these huge player bases, Fortnite, even things like Call of Duty, whatever, anything that has, like, ranked Overwatch, League of Legends, stuff like that, uh, you just learn to accept, like, oh, I'm never gonna be 
diamond, platinum, whatever the top tier rank is, you know? You just learn to, like, live with it. Because <laughs> either, either that or you learn to spend literally all your time playing one game and only one game. And that's, that, I don't want that to be me, so I, I had to let go. I like different games too much to just play one forever. We got an Emperor card? That's pretty sweet. We are going to take the Emperor card. And we are going to use the Emperor card on the next floor immediately. I think. You know what? I would be remiss after what they did for my boy. I would be remiss not to check the second secret room. Uh, you did not shoot at me, Fire. I disagree. Should definitely try to find the second secret room, see if there's a bountiful haul of red hearts. Nope, just some friggin' spiders. Alright, fair enough. Alright, we will pop, because we don't know if we're gonna get to sh uh, go to Shoal. We're gonna pop uh, the Emperor card right here. And I realize again that I am a fool, because we do know that we're going to get to go to Shoal. Because we have the goat head. <laughs> but that's fine. Maybe we'll find another Emperor. Or maybe this Shoal floor was, or this uh, womb floor was going to be heinous for some reason or another. You can't be sure. Everything is terrible. The game just got harder. No. Wait, was that all the mom? It live kills we needed? I thought it was supposed to be like 11. I'm sitting here waiting for an enemy to come in. There were no enemies in that room. Uh, excuse me. What just happened? We could also do the old Liberty Cap Shuffle here. So if you don't know what I mean by the Liberty Cap Shuffle, Liberty Cap has a chance to give you any mushroom effect it also has the chance to give you the compass effect for a reason I've never really understood. Okay, so I think it's probably going to be down into the right. I could be wrong, though. It could be up into the right. I could be getting a little bamboozled here. Let's see. Was this going to be our secret room? Nope. Just looking for hearts from my boy, you know? I'm just trying to feed my boy. Also taking a lot of damage here. What do we have in the, uh, boss or mob trap room? You know, we're strong. I'll do it. There we go. Eat up, Dark Bum. Oh, that's the thanks I get for putting food on the table? Go to your room. Go to your room! Yeah, this is my room. I'm in Shoal. All right. Don't sass me, boy. Yep. Okay. This is not, I can't help but notice, a library. Justice. Go, Dark Bum. Um, let's keep the dice shard for now. We'll see what happens with this. I want to see if we get if we get an item that we get. Yeah, there we go. That's the ticket. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got a knife and a tech X. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go back and get. I want the uh, the Empress. I think was in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got the win. No problemo. We had it. We had it regardless. But this is just gonna make it actually fun to get this win. <laughs> Oh, the door stop, huh? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, man. Get wrecked, dude. Where are the feats? Get those feats. 
Get those toe toes, as we say to my five month old. And that is gonna do it for that run. Guardian Angel has appeared in the basement. Thank you guys so much for watching. We unlocked everything is terrible. The game just got harder. I don't know if that means we get to go down to the cathedral. I think that might be what it indicates. So maybe it was less, uh, less it lives kills than I was thinking. We also did not unlock Blue Baby. So I'm not sure what exactly that did. But we're going to find out next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like or a comment. It always helps me out a lot. The support of this series has been awesome. And I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus content and other content when it comes out on the channel, please subscribe. I'm Accidental Grenade, and thank you so much for watching.